Well, good Sunday evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. We sit here as we sit this moment, 24 days, 23 hours, 40 minutes, and 38 seconds away from kickoff of the 2022 season. And I know a lot of y'all last night after seeing that game literally threw out your Italian sub, and I'm going to say, be cool. The Cowboys have never been a great preseason team, okay? We went 0-4 last year and ended up going 12-5 and for the year. Um, and Cooper Rush did not have the best of performances right there, okay? The reality is, is if Dak goes down for any length of time, the season's over with. Now, the question would be is, do you go out, do you get yourself a backup quarterback? The reality is, is if they're a good backup quarterback, they're probably a starting quarterback for somebody. I mean, you could go out and get Cam Newton. That would be probably the name that you know. But at this point in his career, I don't know how much you're going to really get. A better solution would be is, let's make sure we take care of the offensive line and make sure that we keep our quarterback upright and healthy and make sure we have a good running attack to go with it because ultimately balance will keep your quarterback healthy, safe, and everything else. Um, and I guarantee you, you'd get more money for your – get yeah, you get more for your money getting a good offensive tackle than you would for a bad backup quarterback because you'd probably still have the same issues – with the backup quarterback that you have with the starting one if he's getting jacked up because of the offensive line. But that's just my thing. And uh, my man, the mailman, Brian Green, seems to think that we'll trade for somebody down the stretch. I don't know that we'll trade for somebody, but we'll probably bring in somebody who uh, is a bargain basement guy. I'm tired of bargain basement guys. I'm sorry. You've invested $40 million a year on your quarterback. You don't want to go ahead and put on some, like, you know, Kmart, Kmart Blue Light Special Tires on your Ferrari. You just don't. You want to get good tires for it. Be that as it may, we have Tyler Smith. Tyler Smith, our number one draft pick, um, playing last night, first half of the game, picking up two penalties. And here's where everybody's on, oh, my God, here we go. You know, just like Connor Williams. Well, I'm going to say right now that he has more size, ability, and strength than Connor Williams had. Connor Williams, for so many times, would end up holding on for dear life. And sometimes you're actually thankful that he was holding him because had he not, the guy would have had a free shot to kill your quarterback. Um, Tyler Smith is a road grader. He is strong, he is physical, and when he really gets the game, he's going to be an absolute beast. Here's the thing that, that the problem with Tyler is, he's a big guy, okay? I've used the hitch analogy. You know, my wife always says, you live right here, okay? Because you're not a good dancer, like in hitch. You live in, don't get, don't get out here. No, you live right here. But his shoulders and everything is so big, and the problem with offensive linemen is you have to keep your body and your hands in. When you get outside, that's when they say you're holding. But this is where you have to call bullshit on the officials because I have never seen somebody being driven, you know, drive blocking and called for holding. Holding typically is like, you know, pass rush. The guy is going through. He's doing a spin move and you're holding on to the jersey so that way he can't get away. When you're drive blocking, you've got the momentum and you're pushing. If anything, you're holding the guy up from getting, like, plastered. So I want to show this play that Tyler Smith got called on. And this is one of those ones that you look at and say, what was the official looking at? Here we have right here Tyler Smith. Okay. Tyler Smith is, can you see my arrow? Let's see. I don't know if you guys see the arrow on there or not. Okay, I see it over here. But Tyler Smith, 73, right by the center. And you're going to see him. The play is going to be going to his left. Okay. Oops. Excuse me. Play is going to be going to his left. So this is All right. that hold on Tyler Smith. And I'll tell you from what I can tell, I'm just not seeing it here. 
All right, boom. He's coming at number 40. All right, you see him right there? 40 is right there. Boom. He's stepping right now. He's engaged him. Now, 40 is, is out of balance. He's off balance right now, right? Tyler Smith has got him against his body. The guy is going down while well, going, getting pushed out of the way. Getting pushed and going down. They called that holding. Let's look at it again. Boom. He's pulling. Go ahead. He's pulling. Boom. He's driving. The guy was on his knees. Watch it again. The guy was literally on his knees. How are you holding him? Holding him from doing what? Crawling to the guy? Seriously? <sighs> Boom. He took him down and then laid on top of him. You see the flag. If that wasn't some bull, are you kidding me? Bam. He hit him. Boom. That's where you start saying to yourself, okay, we've got no chance against the officials. Um, if I were the Dallas Cowboys, that's one of the ones I'd say, hello, NFL officiating. This is some bull jiggity. This is some bull jiggity that you have right there. On a pancake block, you are really saying that that was holding? Or was it because he ended up laying on top of him? Hmm. If we're going to get calls like that, and, and make, make no mistake about it, we got 17 penalties against us. That was the same officiating crew that was there for the San Francisco 49er game, apparently. That called 14 on us in the playoff game against the 49ers. There is some bias there with the officiating. And I know that the Cowboys aren't well-liked in some circles <coughs> in the NFL and stuff, but at some point, you're going to start hurting your product when it's blatantly clear that you are basically juicing the system against the Cowboys. That was textbook, textbook blocking. That's what you want every single play. To get called for holding on that, I'm sorry, that is truly some bull crap. But hey, what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll who's down here in my man cave. And um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on, should the Cowboys be interested in signing Cam Newton to replace Cooper Rush? I know some people have said, trade for Jimmy G to be a backup. We're not going to spend $20-plus plus million for a backup quarterback. Not going to happen. Anyway, I will see you guys a little bit later on our fireside chat. I think it's actually raining outside right now. But like the mailman, either rain, sleet, or snow will stop me from doing the fireside chat. I appreciate you guys, and be safe out there.